Hi everyone, welcome back to another sysadmin tutorials video. Today we're going to be talking about NetApp MBR Align and how to align our virtual machines. So this video actually follows on from a web article that I've written previously. Uh, if you head on over to my website on www.sysadmintutorials.com click on tutorials at the top, head down to NetApp and go to the MBR Align section. In there you'll find the tutorial written up for how to install MBR Align, how to use the VSC to identify misaligned VMs, and also the steps involved on how to correctly align a Windows virtual machine. So in this demonstration what I'll be doing is actually aligning a Red Hat Enterprise Linux 5 web server. This is one of the servers that VSC has identified as being misaligned and we'll be able to show you that in the CLI shortly. So the first step, what we want to do is make sure that our virtual machine is powered off and we want to make sure that our virtual machine does not contain any snapshots. Once you have confirmed this, you want to make sure that SSH is enabled on your ESXi host or ESX and with that I'll just enable mine so I click on security profile properties I go to SSH options and I'm just gonna start it here okay and it's running here so that's good click OK now what I'll do is I'll jump into my putty client and I'm going to put um, SSH into VM ESXi1 which is the name of my host uh, select SSH open okay here I'm just going to log in as root password I'll just extend the box a bit okay so let's change directory into VMFS volumes and let's see what we've got here. So we've got a couple of uh, volumes here. We've got VMware underscore data store and VMware underscore placeholder. So let's just see where this virtual machine re resides. So if I click on the summary tab, I can see here that it resides in VMware underscore data store. So I want to change directory into that. And in here, Actually, both virtual machines reside in this directory. So today we're going to be working on Red Hat Enterprise Linux 5. So let's change directory into that. And let's list. So our MBR Align is already installed. It installs into the default directory of opt slash on tap. And we can run those commands from where we are here. So to run the MBR commands, we want to concentrate or only work on the flat.vmdk file. So this is the name of my VMDK file here. And first up, let's just do a scan and just confirm that this machine is actually not aligned correctly. So I'm going to type slash opt slash on tap MBR scan and the name of the flat file. Sorry guys, I just had to pause the video there. I just realized I didn't have my um, MBR tools installed. So I've uh, gone through and installed it and now I can successfully uh, run the command. So we were up to running an MBR scan on the flat file. So here I've typed my command slash opt slash on tap slash MBR scan and then the name of the flat file dot VMDK. So if I press enter. Okay, and you'll see here the two partitions that it's found and you can see that both of them are not aligned correctly. So we can see this by aligned no. So this machine definitely needs to be aligned. So to do that what we do is slash opt slash on tap mbr align and again the name of the flat file like this okay it's going to go through give you a summary and ask you are you sure that there's no snapshots that exist for this virtual machine uh, we've already checked that and we're pretty sure that there's none there so I'm going to click yes oh sorry type yes enter and the process will begin. So it's going to start to go through and migrate um, and align the partitions correctly. So with that I'm just going to pause the video because I suspect it's going to take quite a while on this lab machine and I will resume it once it has completed. And we're back. So the Red Hat Enterprise Linux server has finished aligning. So 
a few more steps that we need to do. Uh, let's exit out of our shell. And I've got the data store browser open here. So for VMware underscore data store. If I refresh it, you'll see that it's created a MBR align backup file. So if anything does go wrong, we can always revert back to those files. We can simply just run MBR align again and it'll detect that we have a MBR align backup file. It'll ask us if we want to restore it. Just select yes and it'll restore the original files for you. So I'll close the browser. So after the alignment, it actually messes up with the grub loader. So I just want to show you that if I start my Linux machine. You can see it just boots and just says grub here. So what we need to do, let's power it off. Let's go into our settings, options. Let's boot into BIOS at the next startup. And what we'll do is we'll mount the ISO file directly from the hard drive. So let's click start. Our virtual machine will power on. And here we just want to make sure that we've got CD-ROM drive selected first, followed by hard drive. And with that, I just want to click on this little CD or DVD drive icon here. And select connect to ISO image on local disk. I select my Enterprise Linux Server 5.8 DVD ISO file. Open. And let's exit the BIOS utility. And with this, we should be booting into the Enterprise Linux CD. Yes. Now once we boot into the Enterprise Linux CD, we want to press F5 for rescue. And at the next prompt, type in Linux rescue. Select English language keyboard type okay we don't need to start the network interfaces so I'll select no the rescue software will try and mount the system image so we want to do that let's select continue the system image has been mounted so let's click okay okay and now we're in the shell so from here we're going to type in grub as long as you've installed your Linux server in hard drive zero, partition zero, what we can type in here is root hd zero comma zero close bracket. Enter. Next command, let's type in setup bracket hd zero close bracket. Enter. And that's it. We've told Grub to load from hard disk zero, partition zero. And now if we exit and reboot, we should successfully boot into our Linux server. Sorry, I'm just going to reboot the system. A reset. Yep. Okay. And here we go. Our Linux server starting to boot up. Just expand the window. And there we have it. Our Enterprise Linux 5 system has booted up. We have a correctly aligned virtual machine and our NetApp storage system is happy. So I've hoped you enjoyed this tutorial and have found it useful in aligning your systems. Don't forget you can find the tutorial on how to align a Windows system on my website www.sysadmintutorials.com Click on Tutorials menu at the top, select NetApp and go down to the MBR Align tutorial. Thank you very much and we'll see you in the next video.